What is up, Poké Peeps and Masters? This is Rusty, Poké Rusty, and we are back, back for another episode of the Pokémon Ultra Sun, the first playthrough. You guys are hyped. Go down, tickle that like button down below, and let's get into this. So, off screen, like I said I was going to do in the last episode, we did catch a Virgil the Elekid. Um, I didn't get the Electicizer. Um, long story short, I sat here for about 20-25 minutes afterwards, and not realizing, um... We're not. We're not gonna. We're gonna we're not gonna go super deep into it. But if I'll show you Blooper's item that he's holding, yeah, right, right there. He's holding the Oval Stone. So I'm sure you guys can guess kind of what happened there. <laughs> so I'll be back to get that electric electricizer here sooner than later. I just know it was, it was a pain in the butt to try to like uh, farm for this thing anyway. So uh, I was just gonna. I, I just kind of wanted to come back and play instead of you know doing things. I don't know. So let's see. let's do this rage candy bar here. Became healthy. We're gonna soda pop up. Also, I need to get some more healing items. Cause soda pop's about the only thing I have. Not gonna lie. And I'm down to seven of them. So we need to get some more healing items in the next city. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, we're gonna jump right on Tauros. Break this rock here. I don't know why. I feel like 44 stickers. Um, I feel like this, this, the way the screen is right now is very dis, uh, disproportioned, not disproportioned, but more like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but long story short, it just feels really weird and doesn't feel quite right. I... Nope, nope, okay, okay, we're, we're going into building, we're going into building. Okay, so we're going to continue on, on our adventure today. So we have Virgil, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, let's see if anybody in here has anything interesting to say. Well, hello. I appreciate you stopping by, but do you think you come back tomorrow? I don't have anything to give you right now. Okay. Seems like it's feeling a bit blue. Hmm. Wait. Oh, there's a sticker. 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 Forty-five stickers. Um, Oak should be around here somewhere also. Hmm, may I teach? I may be a teacher here, but even though I understand all this about Pokemon Volcanoes, it's pretty amazing and powerful. Okay. Volcanoes in a lower or Ula Ula were created by huge Pokemon. Then I guess the Pokemon we have to thank right now. So let's see what you got for us. Oh, hello! Here in the Alola region, volcanic eruptions result in a long, thin strand of magma. Um... They form strands of grass, rather, grass and hair. Um, but the hair on Diglett are n here are not glass, but rather whiskers with magnetic surfaces. Okay. They use them to communicate in sort of a sensor investigation. Okay. That's neat. We got a lore ball. Bit of a weird place to uh, give us a lore ball on top of a volcano, but uh, you do you, Oak. You do you. I bet you we run into an Elekita right here. I'm going to eat my words. Eat my words about farming. Nope. Okay, good. Besides, I kind of want to... Uh, Electabuzz is kind of my favorite out of the evolutionary. Actually, Elekid's my favorite out of the evolutionary line. It's one of those Pokemon that as it evolves, it kind of becomes less and less appealing. So... Like, Electifier is going to be awesome. But, to be honest, uh, the, the longer I keep it as an Electabuzz, the happier I'll probably be. We're just gonna avoid these guys real quick. We're gonna avoid these guys, we're gonna run around here, run around, run around, run around. You run around, I run around, we're all gonna run, run, run around. God, I need to watch the Digimon movie again. Why, young Poké Russ? We keep running into one another, don't we? I feel like when I'm feeling stuck in my research, I like to go to various uh, regional variants and totem Pokémon that come out. That when I come out to a spot for maintain surfing, it's a, it's a secret to feeling all recharged. Though it does get my Go Goat that it seems to beat. Wow, what? Hold on. Though it does get my Go Goat that I, I can't seem to ever beat. 
that kimono clad when it comes around board. Hmm. Yes, I, I, I realize. I realize you'll be there. I'll, I realize you'll be there waiting. Um, I'm glad they turned this into something because this was kind of this was kind of a nothingness area. Um, but I bet you, what's that? What's that? We open the bottle. Yes. Um, should take it take take it to Melee City's Cape. If you could challenge him to a Pokemon battle, okay. Get some berries. Okay, so we collected all the berries here. I'm glad they turned this into something, because like I said before, it was kind of just a, like a n nothing, this space of nothing. And I know there's got to be a sticker around here somewhere. There has to be. There has to be. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll come back here and we'll surf. Uh, maybe once we clear the island, we'll come back and surf. Because I want to get that surfing Pikachu, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I low key. Pokewus! Phew! That Token Amaru was strong. I just managed to get through that trial, too. Maybe, though, I managed to get even get a bit stronger, eh? I heard from Soscles that you breezed through the trial yourself, Pokewus. You're something else. I know, I should give you these. Oh, we're gonna get max potions. That, that means something bad's gonna happen. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard of impressed... Uh, the impression silence is golden? Guy, he's back! Listen, Team Skull, Skull is looking for a Pokemon... Team Skulls. Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you, do you know anything about it? Well, what? Not, not that we tell you! So you do know something. Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon, but its potential to summon a terrifyingly strong... I don't even know what. There's something... If something happens, it would be disaster for Alola. A disaster? Like a, like a real disaster? Then, what are we supposed to do about it? Protect it. If you know where Cosmog is, or if you find anything about it, about, keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, but I may not... So you may not trust me or care, but... I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog no matter what. I still don't understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you even mean? What, what's the... What, you're not going to just leave us hanging. He's going to leave us hanging. Pokerus, if they're really looking for Cosmog, do you think Lily's going to be okay? I I really don't get what's going on, but we have to keep them both safe, right? Uh, we got to get to the next trial to straight train our partners. Look, I know Guzmo's saying all those things, but I really want to complete my island challenge and learn help people learn about Pokemon battling. I don't know. I've got to make sure... Oh, how, it, what's my p partner's feeling? Wow, I can't talk. I'm struggling. I need to breathe. Okay, so let's puzzle around here a little bit. Um, is there anything in here of noteworthy? That Pokemon in the next guest room has been waiting for his trainer forever. This is is this the one where the stuffle is? Is there a stuffle in here? Am I gonna be sad when I see a stuffle in here? I want it. I want it. I also want this sticker right here. 46 stickers. What is that? It's something sleeping. I don't know what it is. So I'll be sleeping, I just want to cuddle it. Okay. So we're going to continue on here. He Desert its own, its own Maze. 2143. 2143. What? What the heck do you think you're doing? Did someone say you could come in here? Not that I have anything in here. I haven't done nothing. You want to scrap? That's fight. Uh, what? Uh, uh, now just take this. Take this. He was just taunting me. Okay. Okay. But there's a sticker. What? 
Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, she's kneeling down. You got a problem, short stack? Can't even guard, keep him guarding when I'm, when I'm squatting? Okay, okay. You do you. You... You do you. Guards back. Let's go fishing. See if we can find the water here. Uh, I reeled in too fast. That was hashtag worth. We're not gonna face this guy. We're gonna continue on. Continue on our journey. Wait. Wait. There's a Pokeball over here. I want it. A Moonstone. A Moonstone. We don't have anything to evolve with a Moonstone, but that's, that's cool. That's cool. It's raining here. I think this is where we can get Vulpix. And I think this is a, where we can evolve Crabrawler, too. Phew! Look, Pokeross, it seems like the Aether... We're almost at the Aether House. Where's the captain supposed to be, huh? Ah, so this way lies Mount Lanakila. I guess this is where they're going to make the Pokemon League up here on the peak. The professor told me about the leagues in other regions have crazy strong trainers. They call themselves the Elite Four. The Elite Four and, and our Kahunas. I wonder which one's stronger. I'm pretty sure Gramps is the strongest, but I can't wait to find out for sure. Not gonna lie, I'd love to see something where Elite Four members face off against each other. Hello, Alola. Alola to you. So this is Tapu Village. We've been investigating it quite thoroughly. According to our records, we have we have left to us. It seems like this uh that this is where Nekrozma battled against the Tapus when it came to Alola a long time ago and hundred, hungered for the light. It may be the case that which the power came pouring out through the Ultra Wormholes at the time is what changes Pokemon's regular moves into Z moves. Such theories have been suggested. Our ancestors were greedy. They sought after to control Necrozma's light. But as a result, after, but what was the result after that? They only hurt Necrozma, making it lose part of itself, causing it to run wild and steal the light, all the light it could find. That is why we have we have Necrozma cooped up in the Megalo Tower our ancestors built. It contains Necrozma's rage. But the facilities reached its limit. Necrozma hungers light. That is why we came to Alola in hopes of finding a new method to defeat Necrozma. Yet, it has been a difficult mission for us who are, we, who are so new to Pokemon battling. So, ever hope to defeat Necrozma. That's new. <coughs> You're just gonna leave on that? Where's this Megalo Tower? I don't I don't really get what's going on about all this. It seems like those Ultra Recon or Recon Squad people really are in a hopeless spot, huh? Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Interessante. Interessante. So we got a new Elekid. All we have to do is level it up once and it'll be an Electabuzz. That's pretty freaking hype. Not gonna lie. You have a Phantom? I don't have a Phantom. Oh, he's... Okay, this is the guy that... This guy trades you Phantom for Phantom, and then they evolve, and it's pretty, pretty cool, I think. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know how some people steal HP from a moves like Absorb and Mega Drain? Do you think it tastes different depending on the species of Pokemon they steal it from? Ooh. Pokepelago, nobody cares. You know, I'll care soon, but not soon enough. Okay. Okay, so let's continue on. We have to get to the Aether... What's it called? And I think this is the patch of grass where you can catch ice types here. Okay, that's not an ice type. Go blooper! Blooper soup, blooper soup. Oh yeah, everybody gained like at least a level. Just for how long I was grinding. So... 
Everyone's about a level bigger than they were. Well, I can't believe we're almost at level 40 and we still have, like, an entire island left. I'm not sure if this is the same level curve as before or slightly higher. Terry's level 35, wants to learn Tailwind. Um, sadly not for a playthrough. Keep old moves. So I'm working on building a, I'm working on uh, a VGC team for uh, the upcoming year. I'm pretty excited about that. I also want to search out around here for, see if we can find a Vulpix. Not gonna lie, I kinda want a Vulpix. That's another Raticate, we're gonna, we're done, we're done. We're done, we're done! We're done, son. I'm not going to look it up either. Let's switch... Somebody up front. Who's lacking? Who's lacking on the... Uh, 36, 30, 36. Okay, let's throw Mosby up front. Everybody's pretty well even, except for Elekid, obviously. But he'll catch up. He'll catch up. There's a snow runt, okay. I remember using snow runt and oh I miss using snow runt. I think we caught one Yeah, we caught one here in our moon day one nuzlocke, I think. Oh, we also learned hammer arm off screen. When we leveled up. That's pretty exciting. I figured, eh, let's hit a little bit harder. We'll probably be one-shotting things with our levels right now. Last encounter, and then we'll continue going on. I don't want to waste the entire episode searching for a Vulpix that might not even exist. And there's a Pelipper. Yeah, we're, we're out of here. We are out of here. I'm sad. Loki, I'm kind of sad. Pelipper's usage is probably going to go down. Um, One, because Politoed's back in the format for VGC. And two, I think um, Charizard... Just has the better better weather. I hate to say it. I mean, that's kind of what made rain lose focus before. Is that, that being able to mega into weather is such a bigger, better, cooler thing than <coughs> than just like it. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, wait. So this is the Aether House. Strangers. This means battle. But why? We need to protect our home from Acer Ola's away! So, yeah. Like, I guess Pelipper is better against Charizard. Not much better, but, like, obviously both. Like, the only reason Pelipper is better is because. It has that flying type, so it can be, take neutral damage from... It can take neutral damage from, like, Solar Beam. That's the only real reason it's better, but I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I, I just don't think uh, Rain's going to be that big a weather. It's kind of fallen out since... Sadly, since the Megas, because we never got a Mega Rain Starter, Bar, Kyogre, but that really, I'm not counting that because that's a different kind of rain and just not, I'm not going there. Um. Phew! I, so I won, yeah. Um, this little thing's gnawing on me. <laughs> I'm back, everyone! Haha! <laughs> it looks like you f I finished up the stopping street just on time, you so you've met everybody. Oh yeah, we met. You battled anyway. Hey, where's Lily? I left her with Hapu. They should be coming soon. So, let's. why, why don't we get our trial done first? You didn't know I'm a captain, right? <laughs> so, we get to take on this trial. Um, what do you think you're doing? Stop it! For real, girl? Your bag is moving right in front of my eyes. Am I supposed to ignore that? You've got some rare Pokemon in there. I'm coming here to take it to make some cash. Even even if it's not a rare Pokemon, I back and still get paid for it, yo. <laughs> Pokeros! 
Oh, so we're just following the script, are we? The trainer dashes in to save the girl, huh? Well, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let the hero in the scene. Okay, okay. I haven't read any of the Sun and Moon manga. I really want to. I'm assuming... Assuming... He starts off with Rallet. I feel like Rallet is easily a manga-friendly... I feel like Rallet, Rallet and Decidueye have such character that they're gonna make for a good... Um, good, like, main character Pokemon. And then it leaves Incineroar perfect for, like... That rival esque, that rival esque main mentality. So that's interesting. I, I can see that, or the rival being a female and picking Primarina because girl, and they're just kind of stereotypical in the manga. But what I mean, I definitely think Decidueye has the. Hugh Pokey Rest, thank you. I wanted to go for a stroll on my own, see what it's like being a trainer. So Hapu and I separated ways, but then Nebby tried to get out of the bag and. Uh, didn't you, you little troublemaker? You better thank Poke Ross. Ah, uh, so, um, when I was out shopping, I kept thinking I wanted to get something to help you during your island challenges, so I saw this. So we got five luxury balls. Dude, she's got some pocket change herself. I bought them without even thinking. <laughs> oh, Lily. What's the matter? You look all worn out. Do you want to take a rest in Aether Palace for a while? Oh, hey, Cerula. Thank you. I might take you up on that. And you, Poke Rust, we're going to go to the trial site at Tapu Village. Come on, follow me. Okay. Do I have what it takes to take on the next trial? I'm not even sure. I feel like my voice is super low right now. Like, why is my voice super low? I need to raise my voice up. My voice needs to be more like this. Not like this. My voice is not... Oh my god, my voice is... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, my voice does not seem really low right now. Okay. Okay, so let's... Follow the way roller down here. It's the old, it, the old supermarket's where I hold my trial, right down on Route 14. Wonder if this trial is going to be different. I couldn't see him changing this trial. This trial is so iconic and awesome. 48 stickers. We're almost at 50. We're almost at 50, guys. Max push on. I'm gonna grab that sticker right on the ground there. 49, and then run away from this guy. Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't see me coming! Woo see if we can take on this trial before the end of the episode. If not, I mean, it's, fr it's, it's Friday. You guys deserve an extra long episode probably, right? You guys are awesome. Okay, so... Let's do this. Let's go into the trial. The time has finally come, Poké Rust, so I guess I should explain this trial. This old building is full of ghost Pokémon, did you know that? It's where part of where the trial comes in. You have to find the totem Pokémon and snap a shot of it with your Poké Finder. The totem Pokémon is a bit of a trickster and likes to play hide-and-seek around. If you take pictures of the ghost Pokémon, they'll definitely come out and get have fun with photo-taking. So if, that's something, if something weird happens inside, you'll place, you try check it out. I bet the ghost Pokémon will be causing mischief, so you gotta get a photo before it's gone. Ah, there, I set it up with special shooting mode just for this trial. Gotta go in the building. Ready? Go! Um, okay. So we're gonna go in the building. I want to see if there's anything else out here. <laughs> trial started. Okay. Before we go in any further, first of all... Foist of all. Foist. We're going to put the new Incinium Z on Incineroar. Um. Um.
I don't have anybody that can learn a steel move, right? Like, I think the only steel TM I have is that smart strike. And I'm 90% sure. Oh, I do have gyro ball. Yeah. I didn't think so. So we're probably we're pretty much going into this uh, non-Z-move-esque. But we're going to throw Incineroar up front because I really want to see this Z-move. We're only going to do it once because I feel like it's going to get claimed. But... Because Pokemon loves claiming stuff. Yes, we'll fire up the Poke Finder. Oh no, the Pokemon spotted you! Let's body this Ghastly, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Malicious Moon Salt. Oh, you're gonna mean look us. Mean look us. Go ahead. Mean look us. I don't care. <laughs> Malicious Moon Salt. Boom! And there goes the castle. <laughs> Looper's level 38. Oh, we're so close to that 40 some where we get. I love when you see. I love. Okay. That's so adorable. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna switch. Uh, Mosby back up front. Actually, you know what, Blooper, Blooper can no Mosby because Mosby's a little bit behind. Not not that he's really behind, but I I just want to get him caught up. So we'll fire up the Poke Finder. Cool. I do like that the Pokedex is sh in this game is shaped kind of like the 2DS. Recently, it's been it's been mostly shaped like the gaming console systems that are out at the time, which is which is really cool. I really like it. Um, let's go for brutal swing here. It's gonna lick us. Ha ha! You can't touch us, Haunter. Boom, boom. Mosby is not gonna be able to do anything against the this next trial or this this uh, trial captain leader thing. Totem Pokemon. Uh, fire up the Poke Binder. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -da. Dun, dun, dun. Ba -da -da. Can Mosby one shot this Gengar? Can get a nice one shot on this Gengar. Nightshade doesn't affect us! Level 37. Right there. Sinora is level 38. Let's learn Thrash. We're gonna keep old moves. Virgil's level 31. We got a Virgil evolving. Do 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 do. I love Ella Kid. He's so cool looking. <laughs> there we go. There we go.
We did run into an Electabuzz during this, uh, but again, I was just pretty much just farming for uh, that item. Electricity permeates from its body, it swings its arms around, charging up electricity before it unleashes its punch. Okay, so who are we throwing up front to deal with this Mimikyu? I feel like we literally have not a great squad for this. <laughs> Noting that our bear, our three of our Pokemon are weak to it. I think I'm actually going to lead with Virgil. Because they can get a nice Thunder Wave off and then pretty much have Piderman handle it from there. What's Acerola doing? Who, who are you? Oh, never mind that. It looks like you're done with the trial, right? Then hurry up and leave this place. This place is dangerous. You should give up on the trial and get out. I'm not done yet. I told you, get out. I'm not leaving. Get out! No! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Take a photo. You didn't do anything, but a lot clicked open. But you can feel a pair of eyes sizing you up. The Poke Finder did it all on its own. I actually want to check out some of the pictures in here. So there's a Pikachu Alola Surf thing. Pikachu Shadow. Pikachu on Ash's shoulder. Another Pikachu. Pikachu Tail. Two Pikachus with a girl. Um, Pikachu Festival Pikachu. Oh, hello. See me? I'm cool with them not changing the trial. Because this is such an iconic trial, and I absolutely... This is easily my favorite trial, even though how hard it is. This is easily my favorite trial within the entire game. Like, Mimikyu... Mimikyu's crazy cool. We're going to Thunder Wave you right here, right now. You're gonna play rough us right, in, right away. Come on, live it. Live it, Virgil. Never mind. Um... Yeah, actually, four out of six of our mons are weak to fairy. Oh, it summons a bayonet. That's different. That's different. Um, we're gonna bubble beam Mimikyu. I'm gonna play rough. It does so much damage. It's gonna curse us too. So we broke the disguise here. We take a little bit from curse. We're gonna switch Piter Man out here. Um, I'm gonna have to sack off somebody. We're gonna sack off. Actually, we're gonna go into Mosby. Okay, the, we, we took that actually really well. Um... I'm sad we don't have any of, like, the Roto Super Boost. Also, didn't get any healing items. Awesome. We're gonna... X Defense here, actually. Mosby might be more valuable than I originally anticipated. Let us... We're 
We're gonna heal up now. Let me use this full restore. He's not gonna Will O Wisp again. We're gonna be fully healed. He's gonna curse and kill himself. <laughs> so we get to see what the second Pokemon is anyway. Interesting. That's gonna be a pain because it always has a set amount, so I, I can't bulk up past that. We're gonna rock to Mimikyu. Speed down. Er. Ah. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to switch back out into Piter Man. And kind of let Piter Man go down. Because we can take, still take a hit with that 43 HP. Um. And he hasn't called in a second Pokemon yet. Which is super interesting. <sighs> um, even if, even if, um... Mosby doesn't finish this off. We can get Mimikyu to a point that um, we can finish it off with our what's it called? That'd be pretty hype. The um, Incineroar Z move. So I, I so I want to kind of get. Um, we're gonna throw up another X defense here. Um, yeah, X defense. One more X defense. It will be a plus four defense. We'll start rock and attack. As long as he doesn't get a crit. Well. We wasted all that defense buff. We don't have any more defense buffs left. Awesome. That's pretty freaking amazing, actually. Uh, we're gonna foul play here. He's gonna leech life. Oh my god, that's quite effective! Oh my gentle Jesus! Um, we need to bring Mosby back. Mosby is literally the only thing we can fight this thing with. Um... I, he's not slow enough for me to Z move. I can't. I can't even. I can't even attempt to Z move right now. Um. Max revive on Mosby. <laughs> he's down to slash. Okay. That might be mean he's out of play roughs. So let us go for the malicious moon salt. We're taking neutral damage from that play rough anyway. If this episode's getting claimed, it's getting claimed for two things. Here's to that. It's gonna be nice and neutral damage, but a sweet on it, uh, awesome animation. I'll take that damage. Oh. Oh, so is there a different mechanic now? It only calls for the second Pokemon once you're... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, gentle Jesus. I don't like my life anymore. I legitimately don't know if I like my life anymore. Um... Let's go for... Bulldoze. No, I need to get damage. Let's go for fire... You better not have a healing move. Please don't have a healing move. Let's go for Fire Fang into Mimikyu. 
I don't like how it's going to gain health back from this. See how much Fire Fang does. Good. Good. One more Fire Fang. I don't know how I'm successfully doing this trial with four Pokemon weak to Fairy. Hang in there, Incineroar. Yeah! Yeah, my boy. My boy. This should finish it off, and it does. So Mimic Q is done. That's fine if... Yeah, that's, that's completely fine. Because Beware's got this. Beware can take down... Uh, Jellicent. And if not, I'll just resurrect, um... What's-his-face? There's a Brutal Swing. Ooh! curse Body. Okay, that's fine. And we get confused. It's okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. We're gonna Rock Tomb. It's the only move we have left that we can attack it with. Come on, Rod. Knock it out. Knock it out. Yeah! We defeated Totem Mimikyu. But Mimikyu disappeared somewhere. There was a fuzzy image of Mimikyu caught in the picture. Welcome back, Poké Russ. Let me check the pictures you got anyway. Let's see how you did. Yep, that's Mimikyu, all right. It's pretty hard to catch it on film, so it was a really great attempt, I mean. So we got the Ghost DMZ. Awesome! Okay. Go CMZ, go up moves like this. Um, here you go. So we can catch Pokemon, we can now can catch ghost Pokemon in the ghost house thing. Not a bad idea if you add some ghost Pokemon to your team. What's that? You say... You say I was in there when you went into the back room? Oh, cut it out, Poké Rush. You're just trying to scare me. You're trying to come up with something a bit more believable than that. As if I was here the whole time, not, not in the back room of the shop, for starters. How gullible do you think I am? Ah, I feel like I'm getting chicken skin. Like a chill going through me for some reason. Okay, the Mimikyu is in the back walking off, just like it was in the last game cool okay but this is what we're gonna today's episode guys if you guys like this kind of content hit that like button down below and i will see you guys in the next episode we might try something a little bit different next week i might have a different plan if not it will just be the same plan as always but i will see you guys in the next episode have a great day poke russ out peace later